In this video, I am going to do a sneak peek of Prisma 2, which the beta was released on June 19th, 2019. It's the 23rd of June now, so it's been less than a week, but I've had some time to kind of take a first pass at it and get an idea of how it works. So I just wanted to be able to share this with you guys so you can get excited about it. Now, before I get into Prisma 2, I first want to talk about what Prisma 1 is and why it's so exciting. Prisma 1 was remarkable because it was an all-in-one ORM for communicating with your Postgres or MySQL database. It allowed us to write JavaScript code, which would interact with this Prisma 1 server. When it got your requests, would then perform all of the SQL CRUD operations on your database so that you could create new records, update existing records or delete records. And you could define all of this using a schema file. So as you updated your schema file, Prisma would take that and then apply that as a migration to your database. You could just have one location where you'd have your entire schema defined and it would apply that automatically when you would start up the Prisma server. The downside to, to Prisma 1 is that you, need, you needed to maintain two different servers. And so one was the Prisma server and the other one was your backend server. Prisma 2 hopes to address this because if it's, instead of being a separate server now, it's actually a, a really fast Rust-based query engine that will communicate directly with the SQL server to perform all these database operations. And so this Rust query engine is wrapped with a JavaScript code so we can actually just call JavaScript functions and it will communicate with this query engine, which will then perform all of the actions. So you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get this incredibly fast runtime engine, but we can perform CRUD operations using just regular JavaScript. Prisma also makes maintaining relationships really easy. If you had users and posts, and let's say that users could have many posts, we can actually just define this in the schema and Prisma will take care of setting up all of those different relationships. The architecture of Prisma 2, in addition to being a little bit different than Prisma 1, they also ended up actually splitting the functionality into two different applications. So the first one is called Photon. And so this is the, the query engine and also the JavaScript so that we can write all of our CRUD operations in our backend code to communicate with the database. So that's Photon. And there's this other program now called Lyft, which will actually apply all of the migrations to the database. And so by splitting this functionality into two different things, it allows us to split the accessing our data from updating and maintaining our database schema. So this provides us with more flexibility. We will now take a tour of Prisma 2, which will include creating a new demo project using a SQLite database. We'll show how we can apply migrations to that database, how we can create new posts and update them. And then we will show how we can transition this code over to a MySQL database in RDS on Amazon and connect to that one. So let's get started. 